been a long couple of years for high school athletes with COVID restrictions and a limit on fans in the stands. Tonight, though, when Watertown and Carthage basketball tip off, Watertown school officials hope there's a packed house. 7 News reporter Zach Grady explains why the district is easing restrictions. It's time, you know, to start moving forward. It's time for our kids to have some of those opportunities that they've been longing for. Tonight is the first of those opportunities as the Watertown Cyclones face the Carthage Comets at home in the Section 3 Class A playoffs. For the first time since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, it will be in front of a full crowd. The Watertown City School District is removing a cap on the limit of spectators at athletic events and extracurricular activities. I'm excited to have the full stands tonight. Um, we're not going to have any limit on the number of spectators. But more importantly, the, the players are excited, the coaches are excited, excited, and the parents are excited. It's an excitement that Cyclone players have not felt since 2019 as part of almost every athletic season over the last two years has been altered, postponed, and in some cases, even canceled. Um, you know, they want, just want things to be back, you know, like they were before. And uh, to have a chance to have spectators at games is going to be great for them, uh, no matter what sport we're talking about. The lifting of spectator limits is just the first step in LaBar's plan to move forward and back to a sense of normalcy. And I'm looking forward to opening up more and more. It's, it's a step in the right direction. Zach Grady, 7 News.